Hey everyone, it's Jill Celeste from the Celestial Marketing Academy and jillcelest.com where I teach purpose-driven entrepreneurs all they need to know about marketing so they can become the directors of marketing for their business. Today I want to share with you four things that you need to do to really start attracting some clients to your business. And you know I'm not a big fan of formulas and I'm not a big fan of systems but that doesn't mean that there aren't steps in marketing that you can follow if it feels good to you. And so that's what I want to share with you today are four things that I have found that feel really good to me that help me attract more clients to my business. And that's what I want to share with you today. So the first step is that I want you to really, really know who your ideal client is. Now, if you're just starting in your business, you may not be able to narrow this down quite as much as, as someone who's been in business for a couple of years, and that's okay. Sometimes we have to coach or serve many, many clients before we really get an idea as to who we want to serve from an ideal client perspective. So if you are cast your net a little wide, especially at the beginning, that's all right. Continue on and serve people and then narrow it down as you go. But the idea is that we want you to get super niche with your ideal client. You have to know everything you possibly can about your ideal client from not only demographics such as age, location, gender, that type of thing, but also what they're thinking, the psychographics, what keeps them up at night, what are they struggling with, what are they celebrating. So really, really get to know who your ideal client is and mem remember it is a evolutionary process that you will continue to refine. But that's the first step. You got to know who you want to serve. The second step is hand in hand. You need to find places where your ideal clients are, preferably in large numbers. So when you come up across an idea to advertise somewhere or to go to a meeting or to present, the question you'll ask yourself is, will my ideal clients see this? And if the answer is yes, then that should help you make better marketing decisions. If the answer is no, then it's something that you can say no thank you to. But for maximum effort, you want to find where your ideal clients are hanging out. That includes networking meetings, social media sites, uh, conferences, what blogs do they read, what videos do they watch. Again, this is all part of your ideal client research, and you want to align yourself with where they're hanging out so you can increase your visibility to your ideal clients. The third part of this is you need to get into what I call the woo mode. And I mean woo like, like if you're trying to woo someone out on a date. <laughs> of course, we don't, I'm not asking you to date your clients, but <laughs> the idea is that is as much effort as you want to put into this process. You want to constantly love them up. Make sure they're on your uh, e-newsletter list. Uh, if you send warm letters or newsletters through the mail, make sure they're getting that. Check in with them. Um, give them free stuff. Give them access to your Facebook group. Give them um, you know, extra videos, extra training, whatever you need to do to woo that person because you, they need to know that you're there, that you are there for them, and while you're mixing in all this free stuff and all this goodness, the tr like the no like trust factor is increasing as well. And that brings me to the fourth thing, following up. We are so bad as entrepreneurs, for the most part, about following up, me included. <laughs> you know, we bring people on this journey. We, we know who the ideal client is. We, we go and become very visible in front of our ideal clients. We begin the wooing process and just starting to love them. And then we fall short on the follow-up. And that's why we don't close our sales. That's why we don't get our clients. There are studies out there that say as many as seven to nine follow-ups must occur before someone agrees to purchase from you. We give up too soon if we even get started. So following up is essential. It's the fourth thing I recommend and it's probably the one that most of us are challenged with. So make sure you make a decisive effort to follow up and be tumultuous about it. Be uh, relentless about it because that is how you're going to attract clients to your business. So I hope these four tips helped you. Think about for this week how you can re redefine, if necessary, your ideal client. Find out where they're hanging out so you can increase your visibility to your ideal clients. Think about how you can woo 
your ideal clients with all your love, and finally, follow up. Okay? Now, if you need additional marketing assistance, please come over to my website at jillceleste.com. There you'll get more information about my coaching programs, the Celestial Marketing Academy, and my blog is there, which has tons of great marketing information if you need to look something up. So until next time, here's to your marketing success. Sending you big love. Have a great day.